What's up, you guys? So I am back, and we are gonna go check out the Mother Beaver Dam. All right, since I got the four wheeler, I guess I might as well just go and get it muddy trying to get over there because <laughs> that's what's gonna happen. And I got the tripod and the potato rake in case I get to tearing out some, which I'm pretty sure I probably will. I'm pretty sure they got it rebuilt already, definitely. So we're gonna see when we get over there. All right, all right, you guys. So we've made it to uh the mother beaver dam and i'm trying to remember where in the world i'll be going in at <laughs> i need to make me a, a sure cut path in here i think this is it i do believe this is it Ugh. i don't hear any water crashing uh-oh, uh-oh, you guys. They might not have been back. They might not have been back, you guys. Look at this. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> I might not have to do no work today. <laughs> Look at this. Yes, that's what I like. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that, you guys. You can see dirt out there. Amazing, amazing. I can imagine all that water that came through here was probably too much for them. Look at this. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> She's still flowing. She's still flowing, you guys. Hey, we put up a good fight. We put up a good fight, you guys. <laughs> it's a lot of water moving through there because of um, all the rain we got, but look, hey, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. <laughs> Let's step down here, see what it feels like. That mud is. Ooh, that's, that mud is soft through there. Woohoo! That mud is soft. Oh, yeah. You know it's a lot of water flowing out of there when it's a bunch of water over there. And you remember, usually, before I start tearing out, there's no water over there. But this is a good deal here. Look at how deep that rake goes. Y'all remember I walked down here when the water was high? Of course, that mud still will pull you down. Look at that. Come here, boot. Ugh. Come here, boot. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Yes, wonderful. Wonderful. Man. <sighs> hey man, that's that requires more strength than tearing out the beaver day. Hey, day. Whew. Now I got mud on my legs here. I gotta dip in the water. Okay, so hey, I'm ooh, that's deep too. I am A-OK -okay with this. Let me take a dip right quick. Get some of that mud off. I would do some exploring that way, but the water's high now. Man, this is a high step. Oh! I don't know, I still might go that way, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Ugh. No, I don't think I wanna fight with the water. I don't know. Might not be too bad, we gonna walk down that way. All right, let's do that. So I dropped my tripod bag off and we gonna walk down stream a little bit. 
Like I said, I, I don't really care to be doing it right now while the water's high. And that's already making me want to turn around there. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I ain't gonna walk over there. I'm gonna go closer to the... to the woods line. Oh no, I'll be pulling on my waders like that. Unfamiliar territory. You checking it out? Uh, I guess I know the creek is over. Oh, wait a minute, that dropped down low. Did the creek go that way? Tread lightly, Terrell. This gets deep here. Let me use this. Break. I'm not going to. Oh, okay. I'm not going to go through there. I sound like I hear some water crashing. Lord, no. <laughs> I'm going to walk up here. Uh. And y'all remember in the video yesterday, I said that we, we rode, oh, look at those deer running out of the water and into the field. I didn't know what that was. <laughs> that right there. Man, got my potato right hung up. Come on. Thank you. They've been cutting some trees right here. Uh. Man, wait a minute now. Let me not go too far that way. We'll go this way. <laughs> but they be dropping down and be having me like, oh, wait a minute. Okay, so got all kind of channels of water there. That's deep, I know. This right here looks like a dam, don't it? I think that might have been a damn there. With the way that water's flowing everywhere out here, you can't really tell where the main channel is. Look like maybe that's a channel there, but it looks like something goes that way. I'm not too concerned with this out here. <laughs> I'm not, I ain't gonna lie. That right there looks like some, oh yeah. That's some old thick root system there, you guys. Thick root system. I can't even, I can't even get the rake out of it. Great day. Ugh. Oh boy. Me over here. I think that was sort of dammed up there. Oh, man. Yeah, man, that water's just flowing everywhere out here. Ain't nothing really 
against like a main course. Uh, I'll break that little bit out. You see that little bit of action anyway. That's thick too though. Wow. Thick root system. I'm done. Hey, I'm not going to wear myself out on something that's not really that bad, you guys. Really. I'm not. <laughs> I just came across that little flow. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. That don't feel too safe there. Uh, okay. Water flowing all kind of ways out here. That's a beaver dam. That's a beaver dam there for sure. So do you think the water is supposed to come this way? So I'm trying to go around this way because that tree was blocking me and the water around that way was way too deep for sure. So I'm going under the branches. Now I'm in between the branches. So much mess out here. I guess the water pressure broke this out. Okay, that's sort of deep there. Hold on to this tree. Oh yeah, that's deep too. Pull a little bit of this out. There you go. I ain't tearing out a whole bunch of that, you guys. Just enough. Because remember, the water is hot too, so. The normal stream probably ain't that wide. There you go. I don't want to make it so deep I can't get back to the other side. I'm thinking our best bet is to wait till the water gets low and then that way we'll know where the main course of water is trying to leave out of the woods at 
instead of burning energy here and there. At least that's how I feel. Y'all probably saying, keep going, keep going. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna head back to the to the mother dam. <laughs> 